Um, I'm Jack Nabalski. Uh, I'm uh, the Executive Director of Habitat for Humanity at the Upper Keys. Been here for a little over eight years now. Um, it's been an awesome run. I'm, I'm very fortunate to be a part of this organization. And I didn't know anything about Habitat really when I started. So I've come a long way in learning. I still have more to learn. Um, but I've been down here in the, in the Upper Keys since the early 80s. Uh, basically, I'm a, a broadcaster of my got my degree in communications, um, been in the radio business most of my professional life here. And one day it came to an end suddenly and I found myself having to reinvent myself. Um, and then uh, this opportunity came up for uh, Habitat for Humanity, I was looking for a new director in the Upper Keys. So I interviewed and uh, heard about it. I was at a Christmas party and a friend of mine said, hey, I sit on the Habitat board, you should come apply. I did, I got the job and I've been habitized ever since. You know, there's a big process involved in becoming a habitat owner, owner of a habitat home. Um, there's, there's a very involved process. And so they have to apply, they have to qualify. There's three elements of qualification. There has to be a need. You have to qualify financially uh, with minimums, uh, which, which are lower income minimums. Um, and then you have to be willing to partner, which means you gotta put in the sweat equity. So those three elements all come into play a lot of people apply for Habitat Home. Um, you, have to have a, you have to have a minimum of a 600 credit score to qualify for us. Every affiliate's a little different, but not that much different. And uh, even in our fundraising efforts, I have found that people uh, that are philanthropic, that have the ability and have the money to be able to help people, um, they, really, they really buy into and they bond with what Habitat's, how the model works. Because most of these people didn't come from money. Most of these people have earned it the, uh, the old-fashioned way and they become successful. Um, and they like the fact that we're just not giving out money to people for free, that they really have to work hard if they want to be a part of this thing. So if you're willing to work for it, there's a good chance you might get it. And there's people to help along the way. And that's kind of what Habitat is all about. Hi, I'm Lisa Thornhill, Chica Lodge and Spa. It's Friday, March 2nd, and we are here at the Islander in the fabulous Florida Keys. We are going to the History and Discovery Center because the largest fundraiser of the year is going on now for Habitat for Humanity of the Upper Keys. Come on in, let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie. I am the head brewer for Alamrata Beer Company and the distiller for Alamrata Distilling. We just wanted to go ahead and thank everybody for coming out tonight to the Islander for the Habitat for Humanity event. And yeah, come and try out some of our rums. Hi, I'm Ashley Jordahl from Sea Grapes Wine Bar and Bistro. I'm one of the sponsors here at the Habitat Humanity Partner and the VIP Cocktail Party. Um, I provided a nice grazing table of meats and cheeses and crudite platters. This is Steven with Southern Wine and Spirits. We're at the Habitat Humanity Party for been drinking some great wines. You know, our cocktail party was a perfect example. A lot of people showed up to support Habitat. We're really proud of the fact that on that event, um, about 88 cents of every dollar raised goes back to our building fund. We do not have a lot of expenses. Most of everything that happens there is donated. The food, the, 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 uh, the liquor, um, the Islander is awesome to us. They, they're, they're extremely gentle with us when it comes to um, hosting it there. Hi, we're here at the Habitat for Humanity Upper Keys VIP party, which is a thank you for their largest donors. And at this event, not only do we have fun, but uh, they're also raising money for Habitat for Humanity. And here is their Help Us Build It, they're where the donors can sign up for various parts of the house to help build the house for them. So that's going to happen in just a little while, so stay tuned. Hello, I'm Michelle, and I am here at the Habitat for Humanity 16th Annual Cocktail Party. I am taking pictures of Isla Mirada Rum. I am from Keys Life Magazine, and this is just going to be a great event tonight. My name is Dirk Smits, and I've been on the Habitat for Humanity board for two years at least. Um, I'm on the board because Jack made me. Actually, no. I enjoy being on the board. Um, I'm an employer. I'm a local employer in this town, and it's hard to keep people, good people, when they can't afford a home. Well, about um, uh, it's a little over a year ago, our board we came with a um, we came up with a goal to build 50, and so our goal right now and has been since in the last year is to get us from 32 homes where we're at, and how are we going to get to 50? 
Now, once we get to 50, where we're going from there, we're, we just want to get to 50 right now. So um, our goal is to have 50 homes built in the Upper Keys as quickly as possible. And, and so right now we're in the process of, we've got a four unit project that we're going to be breaking ground here on Plantation Key. We've got three other single family lots in Key Largo that we're working on getting permits. And then not very long ago, we had an opportunity come our way where we found out about a, a piece of property on Winley Key. And your greatness will flow over into our community to help make it great. So, just a quick word to say from Jack and the board and everyone associated that you play a critical role. We can't thank you enough, but I just simply say thank you for being great. Hi, this is Lindy Roth, and I am at the Habitat for Humanity event called Sequins and Sandals, and we'd like to thank everybody that's here. This is a great event. Jack Nabalski is the best. I'm with Vic Porter and Carol Ross, and we would just wanted to say thank you. This is a beautiful event, and we're going to raise a lot of money for Habitat, which is very needed. Thank you. Four thousand dollars, thirty-five more points. Last call sold for thirty-five hundred dollars. In the nonprofit world, when you're in the event world, it's you know your goal is to do a 50-50, get to fifty percent cost and generate 50%. We're a lot closer to 90% and that, we kind of hang our hat on that. So we feel good, but when someone comes to our event and helps us out there, almost all that money is going back to our goal of building more homes. Mm -hmm.